What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Holiday Hack Challenge video, 2018, the KringleCon competition and challenge. Uh, to review, we were just at Bushy Evergreen at the Essential Editor Skills uh, Cranberry Pie Terminal Challenge. So uh, I just want to see her dialogue one more time. Really, she just tells you, hey, uh, I want to learn VI, and I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> like, even get out of the game. So, or even get out of the, the program. So if we were to click on the Essential Ed Editor Skills uh, Terminal here, here. It gives us, hey, we're in VI. It says, I'm in quite a fix. I need a quick escape. Pepper's quite pleased while I wait, while I watch here, etc. Blah, blah, blah. We just need to exit back to the command line. Exit back to bash and the prompt here. So exit VI. Um, we were given some hints, which if we wanted to, just by speaking with Bushy Evergreen on how to do even this, and that is just a link to the Indiana University VI tutorials that tells you, okay, if you are in insert or append mode in VI, if you aren't kind of aware you can switch back to edit mode which is with the escape key and then if you press the colon that will allow you to enter commands for vi and then if you just enter q for quit exclamation point to don't save any changes and then we'll be brought back to uh the actual prompt that we're at bash so close back out of that close out of that close out of that dang it and back in the KringleCon game, we can move back to the Essential Editor skills and do that exact same thing. So we can hit Escape, even though right now it seems like we're in Edit Mode because we don't have the Insert or Repent sign in. If I were to press I, you can see Insert is visible down there, and then again Escape would bring us back to Edit Mode. So hit Colon, and then Q to quit, and an exclamation point so we don't save any changes and we just are forced back to Bash. It says, Loading, please wait. So it looks like we did something right. This is going to be a common message for us. <laughs> and you can see an achievement down there just popped up. It says, you did it. Congratulations. Okay, so that's it. It, it recognized that we won, that we successfully completed this challenge, so we can close out of the Docker container and talk to Bushy Evergreen again. She says, wow, it seems so easy now that you've shown me how. To thank you, I'd like to share some other tips with you. Have you taken a look at the orientation challenge? And that's the first challenge that we've been looking at. You can see the objective down there. The challenge is limited to past uh, holiday hack challenges from 2015, 2016, 2017. You don't need to play those challenges. If you listen closely to Ed Scotus' talk at the conference, you might be able to pick up all the answers that you need. It might take a little bit of time poking around, but with your skills, I'm sure it'll be a winter green breeze. Okay, so the KringleCon history, sorry, history kiosk over here um, will ask us a couple questions, it seems like. Answer all the questions correctly to get the secret phrase. Question 1. In 2015, the Doss's siblings asked for their help understanding what piece of the gnome in your home toy. So this is where the hints and the reference to Ed Scotus' Start Here talk come into play. If you haven't played the other games, 2015, 2016, 2017, that's okay. You don't need to, because that's a big undertaking <laughs> for just this question one orientation challenge. If you actually visit that talk, or go explore it in the top of, uh, I don't know if Ed Scotus has a room, probably in the uh, Santa's castle. But scrolling down here, it says, KringleCon 2018, start here. In this short overview, Ed Scotus welcomes attendees to KringleCon, first ever conference hosted. So you can watch this talk on YouTube. And on this page, we have the Ed Scotus talk. Uh, 2015, 2016, 2017, um, all leading up to now 2018. So in just this even five minute, seven minute span, he covers all of the answers. And it's just, just explaining the background of the storyline for those challenges. So if we were to move back, if it will let me. You can see that I like this video. Who disliked it? Shame on you. <laughs> Who disliked that video? It won't let me move back. I opened this in a new tab. Cool. Thank goodness I opened it in a new tab. <laughs> Let's escape out of this. And now we can, if you know all those answers, and if not, I can walk you through them right now, <laughs> answer all the questions correctly to get the secret phrase. So 2015, they asked about the firmware for the Gnome on Your Home toy. I remember that. Uh, I remember scraping through that Wireshark PCAP originally just to get the uh, uh, the image that's visible from the gnome in your home. Uh, they disassembled Conspiracy Dreamt Up by Witch of Corporation, Atnus Corporation. Uh, they were evil. 2016, participants were sent off on a problem-solving quest based on what artifact that Santa left behind. He left behind a business card. That was the first prompt, and you can scroll through a lot of Twitter tweets, I think, to be able to get, like, bug bounty or something. I, I honestly don't remember, but it was a really cool challenge. I remember using Twitter or something, a uh, Python library, to scrape through Twitter messages. Very cool. 2016 Linux terminals at the North Pole could be accessed with what kind of computer? It's Cranberry Pi, just as we're seeing in this year. 
2017, the North Pole was being bombarded by giant objects. What were they? They were snowballs. <laughs> it was a very crazy physics engine that was not entirely necessary, but fun, kind of. I, I ended up solving all of them and getting the flawless score that I needed to, but it was, eh. Just got me up to, like, 58th place on the scoreboard or something for, like, a, a, a single time being, and then it fluctuated again. In 2017, Sam the Snowman needed help reassembling pages torn from what? The Great Book. And then we have answered all the questions correctly, and it tells us Happy Trails is the answer. Okay, great. So, uh, if we were to go to even our badge, we can enter this, I believe. We can go into Objectives, and then enter Happy Trails. Hit Submit. And we've got that green check mark, a new achievement completed down there. Looks like we've got, okay, congratulations, you've completed the Essential Editor Skills Challenge and the Orientation Grand Challenge. So, perfect. That's done. Let's see what's next. I want to get over to the Holiday Hack Challenge uh, static page because I like reading through that personally. And now that we know that we have question one done, we can successfully view question two. Okay. Who submitted first and last name the rejected talk titled Data Loss for Rainbow Teams, A Path in the Darkness? Please analyze the CFP site to find out. For hints on achieving this objective, please visit Minty Candy Cane and Helper with the name game at Cranberry Pie Terminal Challenge. All right, let's go track down uh, Minty Candy Cane. I don't entirely know where I'm going, so maybe I'll have to speed this up. <laughs> Get back to full screen for that quality video. Also, Hans is here. He doesn't say much at all. Toy soldiers, they're supposed to be very mean. And they are. Santa is watching. They're creepy. Never hack without permission. Minty Candy Cane with the name game. Alright, just the bottom left of the lobby here. Let's talk to Minty Candy Cane, see what she has to say. Minty Candy Cane, can you help me? I'm in a bit of a fix. I need to make a name tag for an employee, but I can't remember his first name. Maybe you can figure it out using this Cranberry Pie Terminal. Santa's Castle onboarding system? I think it's written in PowerShell, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. PowerShell itself can be tricky when handling user input. Special characters such as and, or ampersand, and the semicolon can be used to enter other commands. I think that system is one of Alabaster's creations. He's a little <laughs> obsessed with SQLite database storage. I don't know much about SQLite, just the dump command. Huh. Okay. SQLite dumping. And that's all she's willing to give us. So we can check the hints, see what we have here now. PowerShell call and an operators. Did I open that a new? I did open that in a new tab. Sweet. Looks like we can call operator to execute a command, a script or function, and these things. Okay. And call something else. And or even without the variable, you can just use the curly braces to denote something else that you want to run or execute. Very cool. Let's see what the other hint is. SQLite dumping. SQLite data dump. How would I go about dumping a SQLite database on Ubuntu 16.04? Well, this really isn't specific to Ubuntu 16.04. As long as we're using SQLite, looks like you can use SQLite db. So the file name for the database, and then the dot .dump as if it were the command you were entering, and then it's redirected to dbname.back. You can either cd into the directory where the database is, just, okay, if you wanted to use an absolute path or necessary backup stuff, that's, that's what's done, as long as it's you're, as long as you're accessing the file one way or the other. Cool. Okay. Hit back here. Now let's go check out the name game. Open this up in Docker here. We just hired this new worker, Californian or New Yorker. <laughs> very, very cool. Looks like there are some options we can do here, but let's tackle this in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying the series. It's fun. I like it a lot. Holiday Hack Challenge is one of my favorite things. Uh, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video.